Hiya. So you come into a WordPress site that you aren't maintaining and you're curious if it's got some bad stuff on it. One of the most common tools that I hear people recommend is a plugin called Security Site Scanner. And what it does is just kind of go through your site and look at everything to make sure nothing looks wrong. Um, so I'm gonna install and activate that plugin by going to Plugins Add New. I'm gonna go for Security and that'll probably be enough to get us it. So once I find that, my site's going a little slow today. So I'm gonna install Security Security. By the way, what a strange and uh, annoying spelling of this word. This word has, everyone spells it wrong. I see it spelled with two E's instead of two U's. I see it spelled with, uh, but Security is a pretty cool, uh, pretty popular in the WordPress community, WordPress plugin. Um, so if you install and activate it, what you should get is a little more info about how you're doing. So Security, Security comes down here. Um, it does have some marketing in it, but you can actually do a uh, WordPress integrity check by default by just coming to this page. And that's what we're doing. So it tells me that WordPress files were modified, um, none of which are quite accurate. Um, it's complaining about a .ds store, which is a uh, common Mac file system. And then it's complaining about database backups, which is a very good complaint um, because I shouldn't have database backups in the root of a public WordPress site. This is a local development one instead. Um, and then this Yoast Stripe folder shouldn't really be where it is. Um, so what's really nice is that it's got both an audit log and this kind of basic scanner in it. Um, it also will log your logins, if that makes sense. So it'll show you who's trying to log into your site and when and where from. Um, so those are just some of the basic security features of the Security WordPress plugin. It also has Security's most prominent feature is actually a, what's called a web application firewall. Um, and you can hook that up via this firewall API. Um, but that's a more complex configuration. That's a paid service that you would use. Um, it's nice because it's not on your server, um, but it has the downfall that it's not on your server. So it's a little harder to set up. Um, but if you're interested in security, security is a great first stop. Um, so definitely check it out. Hope it's helpful.